For you Archie fans, this is Archie's pal, Jughead number 141, going all the way back to 2002. We'll show you the front cover. We'll show you the back cover. And then I'm going to show you how the light shines off of it. That way you can use your best judgment, expertise, and knowledge in determining what the condition is for you. You can certainly take my word for it, but I'd much rather use your own opinion in determining what it is that you are going to bid on and put into your collection. So that's what we'll do. I'm not seeing much of any spine issues or any color, cover issues. Maybe the slightest bit of um, stress right there, but that's why we let you look at it and decide for yourself. We're going to do the same on the back cover. Let that light shine everywhere, all over. Get in those nooks and crannies. And then finally, I am going to show you just a few of the interior pages. Again, that way you can use your best judgment to determine uh, quality and condition of the pages. You can see if there's anything hidden, any kind of damage, and you get a chance even to see uh, the outside here, uh, I'm sorry, the backside of the front cover to see if there's any uh, things that pop. You can also see stress on the staples, etc. So all around a really nice one right there. We're gonna move on to the next, which is 142 of Archie's pal Jughead. You got the first one. Ooh, look at that on the back. We've got some uh, an issue right there, so we will certainly check that out. But first, let's let the light shine all the way along here. Yeah, I can feel it, and you can see where it's bent on the cover right there as well. Let's look at it from this angle. Something you won't see in too many catalogs, but I'll show you that angle just so you're aware. We'll shine the light all the way down. It's a shame because the rest of this is a really good book. It's a nice cover, really great condition on it. You can see as the light shines, it's not reflecting any creases or anything like that. Just this right here. So we'll let you see the rest of the cover as well. Shine the light all over it before we get into those interiors. Now I'm not going to try and hide any of this, but I am going to try and flatten it out so that when we put it back into the... Uh, uh, bag. Hopefully some of this will press itself out naturally. Obviously not all together, but still a great readable copy. Nice, nice good uh, reader copy. And what is this that we did not see on the front cover? I don't even know what that is because it's it's overhang. So I'm guessing that's a manufacturer where this came from the, uh, the cover next to it on the line. It's still some damage because it goes into this one, but wow. Yeah, I think that's what that might be. Maybe not. I don't know. It looks like some just overhang on there. Interesting nonetheless, but we'll show you this. And I wouldn't have even noticed had we not opened it up. So that's why we do the interiors. That is Jughead 142, and I'm glad we did that. 149 is the next Archie's Pal Jughead. We'll show you that front cover. Again, the back cover. And let the light do its job as it wiggle jiggles all down the front of it to give you the best opportunity to see any flaws or imperfections. I'm not seeing much of anything. Maybe up in that top right corner. Maybe a little bit along the spine, but that's about it. We'll show you the back as well. Back is tougher because it's a, a, a light color, colored cover. That makes it harder. So I'll take just an extra moment or two. You can always go back and uh, rewind fast forward, pause and zoom in to make sure that you're seeing exactly every angle and aspect of the book that you want. We do it in 4K originally just for that purpose. We're going to move on to number 153. Also including uh, the video, we also have the photos over at the catalog. You can get there by going to thebigtoyauction.com and seeing this and all the other items we have. That way, one way or the other, you're bound to see every aspect of these books and know everything about them before you ever even place the first bid. We prefer that. That way you know what you're going to get, you know what you want, and you know what's going to go into your collection. A little bit of spine ticking right there. Otherwise, not too shabby on the rest of it. Again, a nice bright white color cover, so we'll take a little bit of extra time. We don't want to take up too much of your time in these videos. But for those of you who might be interested in this book in particular and want to spend the extra moments, you can always go back. And that's why we provide this little bit of information. And then we're going to go over to Archie's pal, Jughead number 168. You got the first one. Flip it over on the back. 
It's feeling a little bit thicker and I suspect it probably has that advertising inset in it. But we'll find out in a moment. Let's wiggle jiggle down the front. A little bit of issues here on the spine. A crease right there. It could certainly use a nice uh, clean and press. Is it worth it to you to do that? Well, that's up to you. But now you know. So we'll open it up, take a look inside. Ah, here's an interesting, uh, a different inset than what I was expecting. So you've got this advertising inset right here for dckids.com. And luckily nobody has done any of the puzzles or anything like that. Sometimes that happens. And we'll finish up on this splash so you can see that. And then finally, we've got Archie's pal Jughead, number 192, going all the way back to 2008. We'll show you the front. We'll show you the back. We'll let the white light do its wiggle jiggle all the way down. Do the same on the back. Before hitting a few of the interior pages. I'm giving you an idea of the splash right there. And that is going to do it for Archie's Pal Jughead number 192.